for Castile as a temporary ally. I mean, he'll help against Austria, that's for sure. Bohemia and Poland might be good, too. I do want to steal that guy. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead and throw some points at it. Okay, January. Here we go. Yeah. Tech up time, baby. Right on time. Nice. That means we're going to have cannons now. Cannon. Oh, man. That's going to be so nice. Uh, our limit's still 15, though, so we'll probably just delete a cav. Maybe delete two cav and get two cannons. I don't know. Something or other. We'll get some cannons somehow. Maybe after we annex the Pope, uh, we'll just delete some of his units and get some cannons. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, idea group. I don't know. Innovative would be nice. Innovative would be really nice. Hmm. In fact, yeah, I'm just going to take innovative. I love innovative ideas. Serbia will annul trees with Byzantium. Oh, wow. The Ottomans let Serbia off the hook really easily. Look at that. Didn't take it anything from them. Didn't make them give any land back or whatever. Ooh, Wallachia is invading Serbia. Bosnia and Wallachia are tag teaming these motherfuckers. Look at this. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, and Wallachia's got claims, and Bosnia's got claims. Oh, shit, Serbia's going down. And yeah, the Ragusan nationalists, they're just going right up the coast. Right up the coast. I hope they get all the way to Istria. I would love to see them spawn with four provinces. That'd be amazing. Byzantium will cede Athens and Constantinople. There we go. The Ottomans now have Constantinople, so we should see them move their capital there. For the instant core and the free uh, culture and religion change. That is such a powerful uh, uh, decision for, for uh, the Ottomans. To move their capital and at the same time get a free culture shift and a free religion shift in the same province. And I think it increases the base tax by a couple as well. All right, tech sevens all around. Very nice. We are teching up quickly. I like it. Switzerland needs help against the Swiss conquest of Brisco. Oh, it's going to be a war with Milan. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, can I just declare war on Milan separately, or should I not bother? I don't know. Hmm. Well, we have our troops and we have our general. Let's um, make sure we fully fund our army. Uh, we'll, we'll lead this up for a bit. Yeah, I think we'll just do the same war. And we'll go conquer Milan and see if we can't peace out with Milan as our vassal. That'd be great. Has Milan joined the war? Yes, Milan has joined the war. Okay, slow down time. So who all joined the war? Burgundy, Baden, Ulm, Milan, and Venice. It's a pretty small war except for Venice. Venice is potent. And who joined on your side? France. Okay, France is in the war. Now we're talking. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in, we're in this war. Let Venice get his troops out of the way. And once Venice's troops are out of the way, then we'll join. Actually, uh, this battle is going to be lost. It looks like he's winning, but Venice is going to get here. Yeah. This battle is definitely lost. Can I get an advisor for discipline? Yeah, give me the discipline. Give me the D. Yeah, five versus 27. That's not even fair. 
Turn the checkbox on. Let's get our, our buddy, the Pope, to stand with us. And then let's go straight into Lombardia. Oh shit, here he comes. Here he comes. See if we can get a river crossing. That'd be nice. Okay, looks like he's alone. I want to see that 21 stat get out of here. Nope, he's coming right at me. Whoa! How did I not see him? Wow. Man, that sucks. I never saw him. Alright, we do have a bonus here, and we have a better general. Just barely. A 1-2 versus a 1-1. One, one. Uh, we have the extra discipline. We have extra morale. We should win this easily, but there's no guarantee, you know? No, we're, doing, we're doing pretty good. We're okay. Oh, shit, my navy! Yeah, my navy's dead. Lol, lol, lol. Navy? What navy? Yeah, exactly. Just go dock up. Your navy, you're dead. My trade ships are going to get fucking squashed. That was to be expected, though. After this, we'll siege out Milan. Siege it out. And then we'll see if we can't vassalize Milan by um, maybe sieging Burgundy's capital. Actually, France is already there. Well, we'll see. Turn this checkbox on. See if we can make... Oh, Switzerland's the war leader. Oh, fuck. Well, we'll see. You know, there's no guarantee anything's going to happen. Uh, but we'll try to do it a certain way, right? Uh, yeah, might as well. We're ahead on military tech. Go ahead. Switzerland is the war leader. That's surprising. But, oh, it's because they're... It's because Switzerland's the attacker, right? Sweden, Brandenburg, whatever. Fucking Austria's gone hostile. It's so stupid. Not making a whole lot of progress on these sieges, and France is just going through Burgundy like fucking butter. is improving relations with us. Why would I care if France's vassal improves relations with us? I wouldn't. And yet, we're getting told about it anyway. <laughs> Denmark is annexing his vassals. Yep. Denmark has annexed both vassals, Norway and Holstein. So now he's left with just Sweden to go beat up. Did Burgundy move their capital? Nope. Did Sweden move their capital? Since it's isolated as well. Uh, Sweden did not either. Interesting. Alright, we've got good progress now. we got the walls busted. Nice.
I don't think we're going to be able to get Milan in this war. Oh, Brittany's in the war. Holy shit. Hey, we got a cardinal, and we're getting attacked. Yay, we got a really young cardinal. I don't have any points to spend on anybody else. Ragusa is independent. So what did you get? You got, um... He got four provinces! Look at that! That is the biggest Ragusa spawn I've ever seen. Amazing. And he spawned with ten troops. Oh, he spawned before he took Istria. Oh, good luck. I hope you can get Istria. He's at war with Bosnia, Serbia, Hungary, and Venice. When a new nation spawns from rebels, they spawn at war with every nation that they took land from when they rebelled. So, yeah, that's a big war, but hopefully he'll survive it. Serbia pieced out. Hungary pieced out. Okay, so now it's just Bosnia and Venice. Yeah. Bosnia pieced out, but Venice... There you go. Yeah, he pieced out everybody. He's, he's alone. Congratulations, Ragusa. You are a wonderful new nation. Welcome to the world. Look at that. He'll take an alliance right off the bat. He's like, I just spawned, but can I please have an alliance? <laughs> Ah, oh, that'd be hilarious. I mean, I could do another relation right now. Maybe. Come on, finish the damn sieges. God, they're both at 35 and they just won't fall. Stubborn sieges. Right? Too bad he didn't finish sieging Istria before the rebellion succeeded. Oh, now we're getting attacked. Of course, we siege before he sieges, and we can't finish anything, and he's already done. Isn't that silly? Oh well. Oh, come on, finish a fucking siege! Really? Finish a siege! Ottomans annexed another little one province minor, which they have a core on. Good for them. Ah, gain prestige or take money. I'll take money. I like money. I like both. Oh, of course, they both fall at the same day. Yeah. Well, thanks for at least finishing, you know? That's what she said. Uh, yeah, let's go beat the shit out of Burgundy. Really, Switzerland? We completely conquer Milan, and Switzerland pieces them out instantly. Just to... Ugh, whatever, I'm going home. Taking my troops and going home. You suck, Switzerland. That was a horrible peace deal. He's like, I'll take 86 ducats and get them out of the war. I wanted them as a vassal, you bitch. Oh well. Speed up. So we're probably not going to get involved in the rest of this war. It'd be cool if he had made him get rid of all his allies, but he didn't. He didn't make him do that. Unfortunately. Okay, Brittany is out of the war. Uh, 
uh, might as well go top off France. We're not going to be able to get that alliance back with uh, Austria anymore. Pretty much a lost cause. our claim here? Another six years. Okay. Utrecht has honored their alliance with Oldenburg against Hesse, Bavaria, Württemberg, and the Palatinate. Yeah, enjoy that, Utrecht. <laughs> Oldenburg. Man, you're fucked. See, so yeah, this whole war was for Brisco, and Switzerland still hasn't conquered it. I mean, they're working on it, right? France is going to 100% Burgundy before Switzerland even gets the target province. That's kind of sad. Burgundy will cede Luxembourg to France. Renounce their claims on a bunch of shit. Pay 50 ducats. There you go. So the war is still on, but uh, France is now out of the war. England has declared war on Scotland again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very ho hum. Ah, Switzerland finally has the target province. Good job, Switzerland. You did a thing. Austria allied Bosnia. Yeah, Bosnia and Wallachia are just ripping Serbia apart. There is not a whole lot of Serbia left. And Ragusa, as the new guy in town, he's doing fine. He's just chilling. He's not bothering anyone, right? Ha! <laughs> Castile lost one of their provinces down here. Rebels flipped it to Morocco. He He's not even in a war, but he couldn't find the time to send military units down there. And that's silly. He just let it go. Alright, our diplomat came home. Uh, yeah, go ahead and top off Austria. It's probably not going to work, but... Nah, whatever. Might even want this alliance with uh, Ragusa. Why not? Looks like he's trying to ally Austria. See that? He's improving relations over there. And Venice is improving relations with him for some reason. And this war is just dragging on and on and on. Oh, Ragusa is improving relations with us. Really? Do you really want this alliance? I mean, I guess. Oh, we took a fucking loan. Are you shitting me? God damn it, I need to get out of this war. This war is just not good for me. Here, come on back from Austria land. Let's see if we can peace out. We failed our mission. Great, yeah. Mm -hmm. Protect against Bohemia. 20 troops. Improve relations with Milan. I can't do that. Claim Verona. I can do that. <laughs> uh, insult on Venice or improve relations with all of our neighbors by 60. I love that. I love ease tensions plus 60. Oh, look at that. Ease tensions. It's amazing. Okay. Can we peace out yet? No. Fuck. So we're just kind of sit in this war and take massive amounts of loans. Not looking forward to, you know, loan city. Just not. Ah, <sighs> loans. Yeah, let me lower the funding on the troops, because we don't really need it right now. We're not actually engaging anyone, right? 
We're just hiding down here, doing nothing. Okay, Brandenburg took some land. Austria broke their alliance with Hungary, probably because Hungary is weak as shit right now. Austria vassalized Anjbach. That's very normal. We're being embargoed by Genoa. Oh, you want to spark the coalition? Go ahead. Go ahead, bring it. I'm already at war with Venice, so they can't join. I have a truce with Milan, so they can't join. Bring this coalition of yours. Ooh. France refused Austria's demand for Luxembourg. France is like, come and get it, bitch. Austria's like, nah, it's okay. Coalition against France. Yeah, coalition against France. Hey, hey, what's your coalition look like there, bro? Bro. Bro. Uh, no, France's coalition. Wow, wow, that's a tough one. He has East Frisia. No, no, no. Yeah, Oldenburg, Aachen, and Liege. France's coalition is three one-province miners. Yeah, that's a scary coalition you have there, Francy Pants. Castile has declared war on Aragon, and Austria has joined the war against Aragon. Whoa! Okay. Naples is now at war with Milan. So that means Milan lost uh, one of his best allies. And Milan's at war with Austria. Whoa. Okay, let me see this war. Castile is now at war with Milan, Savoy, Aragon, and Portugal. And Aragon is at war with... Oh my god. Aragon is going to get destroyed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that'll be entertaining to watch, I guess. Can I get a CB on Milan? I would love to get a CB on Milan. Baden and Aragon. Our truce will be up uh, in three years. Do we have a CB on them? Uh, no, we don't. So let's go ahead. Bohemia. I guess I don't need Bohemia anymore. Put Milan back in there and let's go get a CB. Just so I can go vassalize them. Hopefully this war lasts for three years so we can go do that, right? It should last a little while. Hopefully Austria doesn't beat everyone up too quickly. I mean, he's already here beating up Milan. Yep, goodbye Milan's army. Bye Milan's army. <laughs> Poor Milan. And yeah, Austria is going to siege him up. Savoy is in the war as well, on Milan's side. I don't know where Savoy's army is. But Austria will supposedly have to um, fight that army at some point. I guess we'll find out. Switzerland, this war is very inconvenient. It's been going on long enough, my friend. England and next Scotland. Yep, big surprise. I wonder what Austria would take from this. He doesn't border them, so he probably wouldn't take any land. Um, he'll probably make him get rid of allies or make him pay money or both. And he is sieging up Savoy as well. Yeah, Austria's not going to have any trouble. Sieging up these two guys. And Castile's not going to have any trouble sieging up Aragon. Alright, so Bosnia took a whole bunch, bunch of Serbia. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff to core now. Uh, and who is this? Uh, Hungary has declared war on Serbia. Now we're talking. This is payback. Yeah, Hungarian reconquest war. So Serbia lost his uh, buddy. Whoa, the Mamluks annexed Byzantium. Goodbye, Mamluks. I mean, goodbye, Byzantium. Yep. Mamluks just came in and gobbled them up. They got Cyprus, Rhodes, Moria, and Achaia. So that's an interesting... I've never seen the Mamluks in Greece before. That's awesome.
All right, well, we have our CB. We just can't declare war for a couple of years. Got to wait until July. Okay. In the meantime, let's get Mr. Diplomat. Mr. Diplomat, man. See if we can't piece out of this war because it's been going on too long. I just want to get out of this war, and I still can't get out of the war because bullshit reasons, right? Do I want to ally with Ragusa? I mean, we could. I'm just not sure if it would be a good idea. It could just be like a temporary thing. Hmm. You know what? Let's get relations back up with Naples. See if we can get them to unrival us and be our buddy once again. How's it going, Austria? You're at zero, and... You're not even sieging that one? No, oh, he's not even sieging Lombardia. All right. Okay, so we have 25% cheaper mercs and 25% cheaper mercs. So mercs cost 50% less now. Lovely. And a new cardinal went to France. He got a very young guy in. Wow. Uh, we do have 54 points to spread. Let's go for the young guy. There we go. I'm going to try to keep him under, under wraps. Denmark declared war on the Teutons. All right. Sweden honored their alliance with Muscovy. Uh-oh. What is this? Danish conquest of Danzig. So Denmark declares war on the Teutons. The Teutons are allied with Muscovy. Muscovy becomes the war leader. Sweden joins Muscovy's war. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. That is not going to end well for Denmark. They have overreached. Ah, white peace. And Burgundy did move their capital to Antwerp. Okay, good move, Burgundy. Yeah, he's just going to... A you know what? Burgundy might form the Dutch nation here. Now is an excellent time for, for them, because all he would lose is one province. Just do it. Just form the Dutch nation. Go for it. Uh, gain stability or gain papal influence? I'll take the stability. I love stability. I really do love stability. So yeah, Austria should piece Milan out of the war at some point here. Or Castile should piece Milan out of the war. Whatever. Switzerland allied Milan? Are you fucking shitting me, Milan? Oh, come on! We were just at war. Oh, god damn it. We were... Oh, fuck you, Switzerland. Fuck you so hard with a rake. Venice left the coalition against us. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Damn it, Switzerland. Why would you even do that, Switzerland? What the shit? What are you thinking? You're not thinking. That's the problem. You're not thinking, Switzerland. Ugh. You know what, though? We are out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time where we will try to vassalize Milan. And my goodness, why did Switzerland get an alliance with them after being at war with them? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.